and welcome back to the fourth part of this tutorial the next thing we need to take care of will be the reset button so I'm gonna that's the reset button there's nothing happening now so let's exit out of this system and right underneath this function here I'm going to declare another function there and I'll call it reset let's get it indented right so the following will be let me get those variables yeah there they are right here I'm gonna copy all of these and reset every single one of them okay, this is already in place so let's come right down and paste it right underneath here and let's get this one indented there that's the first one and the second lot is going to be the variables so let's set the variables where is it i think it's here somewhere yeah there we go i'm gonna copy all of these copy that come right down here inside the reset paste it in there there and get this ones indented and set it to zero yeah okay let's get rid of that Let's repeat the same thing for the others. And let's just speed that up and try to. Okay, the next thing we need to do is since all of this reset is taken care of, so let's, we might as well just take care of all of the text box as well so the next one is going to be txt latte dot let's say configure right there configure say so the state of it is going to be equals to disabled close that and we just speed that all for the rest text box so that's it for the rest text box there so we've taken care of the reset functions the reset function is taken care of so all i need to do now is to go for the reset button and use the command to call the function and right here we have the reset button so underneath here i'm going to enter comma command equals reset that is it so if i run it now let's see how that is going to work there we go and supposing we enter or we select all of these oh i don't think this ones will work yet because i need to assign let's see who knows i may have done it let's enter something here nothing will happen here and click on the reset okay i need to assign the values on them okay then let's come in here let's try to see the arrow so that i can pick take it from there we'll run it again so let's uh, enter something here and click on reset good now give me the arrow okay all right let's come right here 
on each of these and that is done so that's fine now let's see the okay for the text box we need as follows that's cool so that is going to be let's see the variable for school there we go that's I'm copy that that's a variable for school and let's come in here right okay that's for the school so we need okay that's that's fine let's come in here say comma text variable equals e school cake that's it that one is taken care of that's good so all I need now is text variable for the others so I'm going to copy this and paste it right here and this will be yeah that's it sunny change this to e sunny right i think i have something like that let's look for that yeah e sunny yeah that's correct then the other one is e jonathan okay e jonathan cake that's e jonathan cake paste and just copy this right then that will be e west africa cake copy that and paste that there so that's assigning all of the variables to each of the widget okay so i believe you guys get what i'm trying to achieve here it's just assigning the variables to the widget so i'm going to have to speed that up and get back to you guys as soon as it's all completed okay all of the variables are now assigned to each of the widgets there, there they are okay so have a good look at them and the method used is known as text variable equals whatever the name of your variable is so for the drinks there is all assigned now have a good look at it let's scroll right down and for the cakes there they are i have all the variables in place okay and for the cost total cost there they are as well and then price information or payment information i mean there they are right so let's save and run there we go I will now enter whatever I want in there and here click on we can't do anything with this because they are all disabled but I will show you one or two just to confirm that it's been taken care of so if I click on reset there you see that guys so for this for this entrum widget so let's just undo one or two of them we'll come up here maybe school okay I'm just going to undo that of school let's comment it out and comment out Sonny's cake as well right save and run 
see that sunny cake screw that sunny cake and just click on reset there that's just to confirm that they are working okay so we've taken care of that now the next thing we want to do is to take care of let's take care of the total so let me come right up here or maybe right underneath here let's define another method there I'm going to call it cost of item there that is it cost of item so the first one is I say item one item one is a local variable so item one let's float that and we say e e latte dot get whatever we have in the text box so item two dot no item two equals float that will be e expresso espresso dot get there so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the rest and let's speed okay those are all of the content on each entrum widget now assigned into this various item so what I will now do is to speed that up there that is to sum up the whole product okay I had to break this one into two that's why that is what this sign stands for if I don't enter that that means I'm we don't have to paste it all on the same line just like this but so that you guys can see it that is why I use backspace there okay so what's going on here is whatever amount of latte you want is then multiplied by the price of latte item 1 multiplied by 1 pound 20 item 2 that's espresso multiplied by 1 pound 99p and item 3 that is ice latte that's multiplied by 2 pound 5p and so on that's what's going on here there and whatever the the total of drink of drinks is stored in into this variable why the total of cakes is stored right in into the cake variable there and is then stored into this my variable into this my that is supposed to be the entry okay entry widget and the other widget and this is the service charge the service charge is standard okay service charge is stored into the entering widget for the service charge and subtotal there subtotal is then stored inside the widget of the subtotal then we have the tax the same thing applied for the tax here we work out the tax and store it right inside pay tax then the tax and the subtotal is added to give us total that's it right there so have a good look at the codes I had to speed this up it's taking too long because there's still too much process so let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about but right now we won't be able to do anything because there's the more process to go through and this very one is going to be we're going to have to use some other method here to take care of that so in the case of the text or the check box let's declare another 
function. The very first function is going to be known as CHK latte. CHK latte. So we use an if statement. If value one dot get equals one. This is what I want the system to do. txt latte dot configure and the state will become normal. It will not be disabled anymore, it becomes normal. Alright. Then latte dot focus right close that and whatever content we have inside latte dot delete whatever content we have inside it comma and then e or we can just say latte itself we can just get rid of that e dot latte is clear okay we've already cleared it anyway e underscore latte dot set equals clear there so that's the very first one else we have to de-indent that go to go there and indent it oh this has to be indented so that was correct all of this has to be indented okay good now if this equals zero copy paste it there if it's zero then what will happen is latte disabled copy that becomes the state becomes disabled and sets the latte itself back to zero because if you notice there's zero on each entry widget so that's the very first one so I should be able to work with with the checkbox now I'm going to copy this so I'm just going to show you one then I'm, I will have to speed up the rest so this is for the checkbox so I'm going to call this so let's go to this very command here this very checkbox here so we need to enter comma command equals chk latte so if I run it now oh there should be column there yeah, there should be column here and there should be a column here as well All right yeah I guess that's it now run and see there we go if I click on this let's click on the latte there we go you see that guys and we can enter whatever we want in there uncheck there we go check uncheck so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to speed up the whole process and get back to you guys so let's speed that up 
okay all of the functions for the check buttons are already and taken care of so take it from here and let's take it down it's all the same lines of codes just to to enable the text widget there we go and there in total there are 16 functions and then each function are then called inside each individual checkbox or check button like you can see as we have called them all right so let's take it down that's for the drinks and the other one here that's for the cakes there I will now come up here run the program there we go guys so if I select any one of these you see that you can see the cost of flashing inside the widget there just enter whatever click on total then when I click on total I expect that to take care of uh, the calculations and the same thing applies here okay all right this one is working as well that's working that is fine this is fine all right so all that is left for us now is to be able to click on total and let's see the outcome here and the receipt so let's take care of the receipt in the case of the total we need to call that right let's come in here we're meant to call this yeah we're meant to call that inside the total so copy that come right down we need the button total there we go that's the total we're supposed to say comma command equals that that is total taken care of so let's run it again select enter whatever you want and click on total there we go you see that that's working so all that is left for us now is just the receipt and we can then call it the end of this long tutorial so let's come right up here yeah underneath here so I'm going to declare another variable sorry another that would be method another method and that method will be called we'll call that receipt there so for receipt the first thing I like you to take care of would be txt receipt so if there's anything inside receipt, I want that deleted. Dot delete. And this is how you delete content. Now that will be 1.0. And there. That's that taken care of then I'm going to declare a local variable x equals random so that's to generate random numbers dot rand integer and you just give it whatever value so let me say this is going to be 10,000 plus from the range 10,000 plus to maybe 6,000 or 600,000 plus there we go that's the range now rand random rev that's a variable equals 
we're converting the text value to a string and here we then say reset the receipt underscore reference that is a variable that was declared dot set okay and come in here and well, this can just be let's just enter bill plus random let's get rid of that that's not paste that in there there we go right so the next important thing now is to enter all of this stuff for our receipt so the very first one is it's going to be receipt dot receipt dot insert end comma and that is going to be receipt again that's the name reference and column back slash back slash I think two no three should do yeah that's fine there plus receipt dot get receipt that gets change this one to G enter parenthesis then plus let me enter backslash for a tab plus another tab there we go that's plus then the date of order date of order happens to be one of my early variables that was created and dot get and that's all there is to that okay so all we need to do now is just to add add a new line there we go and close that up that is that done can just copy that now copy and use that for the next one so for the next one that is going to be that's going to be items let's close that and just enter item there and the item is going to be in the case of this, there's nothing there, it's just going to be cost of item. Cost of item. There. So that is fine. Get rid of that, that's fine. Now the next one is going to be latte. And this, in the case of latte, I want to get rid of all of these. I don't need this. So this one will become latte e underscore latte dot get. And here we say add that plus that. So I believe you get the whole idea now. So I'm going to copy and just pick that up and get back to you guys shortly okay guys those are the lines of code for the for the receipt so all I'm going to do now is to copy that and call it inside my inside the button or on the button call receipt so let's scroll right down there we go right here 
right there let's go back there we enter these lines of code there okay you see that command equals receipt okay now let's run it all right so check you can see the content deleted how many lotted do you want you want two of those express or two yes and so on guys there we go Carlton Hill, Kilburn, Lagos, Africa, 4, Jonathan, 7, Sunny, 7, and School Cake, on four of those. Click on Total, check out the receipt, there we go guys, and you can even add up everything if you have, if you want to confirm the cost there. So with that guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this very, very advanced tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoyed. You all have a nice day now. Bye for now.